so I got all the way over here and I realized I forgot my spreader bar poles. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do now. I was going to do a video on under quilt fitment on a bridge hammock and that's not going to work now because I don't have the spreader poles. I would lose probably an hour and a half to drive all the way back home, get the spreader bar poles, then drive all the way back. Kind of got me wondering, I wonder what would happen if this was an actual trip. I wonder if I can make some out of sticks or something. I don't have my trekking poles with me, which I think would work if this happens in real life, um, which this is real life, so it is happening in real life. I think what I'm going to do is see if I can make some out of some sticks. Worst case scenario, they snap and I fall on the ground. I think that would make for a more interesting video. We'll, uh, we'll see what happens. So I do happen to have a multi-tool. Um, I guess I'll see if I can make some spreader bar poles with a multi-tool. So yeah, basically I gotta make something that somehow fits in here and spreads these apart and hopefully it'll hold my weight. So I cut this tree or this limb off of a tree that looked like it had just blown down. Um, it's still uh, still pretty green, so it should bend. Um, it shouldn't snap, but I guess we'll find out when uh, we cut all these limbs off here and uh, start to shape it and see what happens. Man, I'm telling you, the saw on this multi-tool is amazing. I've never really used it that much, um, but it cuts through this like nothing. Let's see if I can get a measurement on how long I need this to be. I want to make it maybe a, an inch longer than I think it needs to be. Cut the, uh, put a point on the ends, and we'll go from there. Where is the saw? Alright, so here's my mark. I'm just going to try and cut it. I may need to make this shorter. I'll probably have to make this an inch shorter. I guess we'll see. So I needed to make this that much shorter. All right, so there's one. Kind of just fits into the holes there. I'm not sure if this is gonna stay. It doesn't seem, doesn't seem too stable. So let me make another one and uh, see if I can lay in it. I'm not sure if this is gonna work. Um, you may see me fall. Oh, this is scary. I don't know. holding so far. I don't know. Seems like it works. I laid in it for a minute and it really puts a lot of pressure on the ends there. It's windy out here. I'm not sure how, uh, let's see, I'm not sure how this is going to hold up in the long run. It could hold for a night, a night or two, um, I don't know, that took me 15 minutes to do. It seems like it's pretty sturdy, um, I think what I should have done was use the bigger piece at the top um, but it seems like it's holding okay it seems 
I think I probably should have used this thicker piece at the bottom. I think I should have used that thicker piece up here at the top because this seems, I don't know, I think it'll hold but it just seems a little bit maybe flimsy. I'm not sure. Um, I think you'd really have to, I don't know, I think you'd really have to jump up and down in here for this to break. I'm not the heaviest guy in the world. I'm only 155, 160 pounds. Um, so I think if you were heavier than that, this small, small stick would not hold. I think you'd have to use something like, like this bigger stick. Uh, Cause this thing, this thing is solid as a rock. I think it's perfectly fine. I, usually, I definitely think it would hold you overnight. Um, you could probably use it for a week and not have any problems. I'm not sure what to think about it. I mean, I don't think I'd hang my hammock uh, 10 feet you know, 10 feet off the ground, but I think, uh, I think if you hung it low and, you know, kind of took it easy, I think this would actually work okay. I don't know, maybe I'm overlooking something. If I am, let me know, but, um, I think if you forget your spreader bar poles, this may actually be a viable option. Basically, I just sharpened the point, put it in the, uh, the end, it kind of mushed itself down around. I don't know, maybe that's a better reason to use, uh, softwood rather than a hardwood because uh, it kind of molds itself to there all right so with the under quilt on basically I've got these like mitten hooks here and basically it looks like what they're doing is pulling this kind of off the corner down here on this bigger on this bigger stick it's kind of like pulling it off to the side like that so I think what I'm gonna have to do is actually make this a little bit more pointy to go in the, that hole a little bit more. Um, the top one, the top one seems okay. It's kind of like pointy enough to where it'll, it kind of sinks down on there and uh, it doesn't want to pull it sideways any. Same, same for the other side. So down here at the foot end, I think I'm gonna have to make this a little bit more pointy and see if it'll sink down on there a little more. All right, so that seems like it's uh, gonna work a little better. Just having these a little bit more pointy. It kind of sits on there nicer. So yeah guys, uh, if you forget your spreader bar poles like me, um, and this was a real trip you you could definitely make some out of sticks um, wasn't too hard honestly if I wasn't filming this it probably would have taken me 15 minutes this would definitely save a trip I think if you could get two of these it worked and I think you know in that situation I wouldn't throw these away I would just carry these with me um, just in case I couldn't find any at the next campsite but if you do find yourself in that situation sticks and a knife and you have spreader bar poles. If you uh, like this video, please let me know in a comment. Hit the like button. Thanks for watching.